The big Photoshop YouTubers always draw highlights to make their composition come to life. Paint some highlights, draw lights. We can just add some highlights. We are gonna need some highlights and that's what we like. However, there's not a single tutorial that explains how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. Drag your clip into DaVinci Resolve and open up the Fusion tab. We now have a media in and a media out. For this example, I'll use the magic mask to quickly cut out our object. Done. Now place something that can serve as a light source so that the highlights don't simply come from nowhere. There are two ways to draw highlights and I'll show them both. I've also added a bonus tip at the end of the video, so stick around. Add a CC node right here. This allows us to change the color, saturation, highlights, etc. Use the color wheel to change the color to the same hue as our light source and increase the gain a bit if you like the highlights to be a bit brighter. Now this is where the magic happens. Add a mask paint node to the CC node. Now we can draw our highlights. My method is to start off with a low alpha to fake the fall off of the light. I then increase the alpha to max and draw the edge highlights. Now there are three important things you need to know before proceeding. Number one, your painting works for only one frame, unless you change the stroke duration right here. Don't forget to do this, because you might end up having to repaint your highlights if it spans multiple frames. Number two, you can stack multiple CC nodes and repeat the painting process. This means you can add shadows, highlights of different colors and whatever, all in the same line of nodes. Number three, it doesn't work in black and white parts. No matter how much I change the color wheel, if there's no light data, there's no color grading to be done here. But we can fix that, and this is how we do it. Add a background node and insert a mask of your subject. Place it above the background node, but don't connect it just yet, because we have to add the mask pane node first. Plug the polygon mask into the mask pane node, and go over to this tab called Mask. There we will set the paint mode to subtract. You can change the background node to the desired color. Now you can paint your colors onto black and white surfaces using this technique. But do note that the mask paint node is inverted, meaning that the low alpha draws in and a high alpha removes your painting. I've got one final bonus tip, and that is that we can use this very same method to paint different things into our footage or merge different objects together. Let's say you have two animals and you want to connect them. Simply add a mask, cut out the pieces you want, and then add the first animal also as the last animal on the third line of notes, and paint in the transition with a lower alpha on the brush. You can now merge different objects with ease. I hope this tutorial was useful for you, and if you want to know how I composited these shots, then I highly recommend watching this video next.